Hi. If you like statement lighting and lighting that makes a shocking statement, you're gonna love today's episode. There, don't look there. I am looking there. Okay, great. Hi there, ghouls and boys and gays and theys. And bays. Welcome back to Laugh Cry DIY. I am your host, Katie. This is my co-ghost, Ingrid. She's my sister. Half sister. Half sister. I've brought Ingrid on because she's a creep. And a freak. Ingrid and I were recently brainstorming a craft idea that we could do, and we were talking about depictions of skeletons in the media. Skeletons in the media have traditionally been villainized, uh, scrutinized. Demonized. We think they deserve not only to be celebrated, but, but sexualized. sexualized. And that's why today we are doing a spooky and sexy craft. And yes, it's gonna get weird, and yes, you're gonna need to just deal with it. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> so this week's design obsession has been Victorian lampshades. Anything dark, fringy, gold, brass, anything that looks like it would be in like a gothic grandma's house. And therefore I've been wanting to do some sort of a lampshade thing. And I've been trying to think of like, do I want to do like a lampshade DIY? Katie, what? We found this lamp and we thought it would be funny if we put skeleton strippers on it. So basically what we're gonna do is Catherine. So basically what we want to do is we want to take these skeletons and we want to stop. What you're going to need for this craft is two little sexy skeletons to scale. So step one, we want to make our skeletons and the base of the lamp the same color. We're using this rub and buff in antique gold. You can do it with your fingers, you can do it with a paintbrush. It's all Ooh. Ooh. Ingrid, have you decided what your skeletons are named? I was thinking, uh, Marrow Lynn? Marrow Lynn? Munbone. Oh! Hi, we're back. It's the next day. We did rub and buff all over our skeletons and our lamp base, and we realized that we don't like the color. Hate it. But right now we're trying to figure out what particular pole dance poses we want our skeletons to have. I just like the idea. Okay, but what if, what if her head went back? Yes. Okay. You know what? Maybe it sh you know what? Wait, maybe one should be on the base like this. I think you're right. Yep. Yes. We know what poses we're gonna do. It was a joint decision. Oh. And we've cut the joints off the skeletons so we can articulate them how we want them. Girl, talk to the hand. High five. We are going to start E6000 gluing every piece together, starting with this little sexy hand. Uh -huh. I would definitely recommend the viewers use hot glue. Yeah, hot get glue it. will be faster. But let me get a Gorilla Hot Glue for you. Hello, and welcome back to another day of trying to figure this out. We ran out of time. Luckily, we have this sexy baby ready to go, and now we're just gonna put her partner on, um, and we need to figure out how to do it. No, oh, but wait, okay, wait, if I put her here. Oh, no. No, wait, that's not right either. <laughs> Um, it's been a trying time, but we have finally found a pose. Okay, so pro tip, one way to bend these skeletons is to just take your regular glue gun, like not with the glue, but just the tip of it because it's really hot, and touch it to the plastic and it will actually bolt. And Melt it. it. <laughs> bend it with your hot glue gun. All right. But don't hurt me. There. there. Yeah. yeah. And we are putting some hot glue in to her little hip bone to keep it upright. Do you see what we've done? We're not gonna let go of it yet. 
Are these gold? Yes. Did we put rub and buff on them? Yes. Do we like it? No. So we are going to respray paint these now that they are properly posed. Do we choose boring, dark bronze? It's pretty dark and boring. Or do we do my go-to, my lover, my one and only? Let's do a paper test. Winner is Iconic Gold. <laughs> All right, while that dries, we are gonna move on to the lampshade. Now, we chose this beautiful brocade pattern, the type that would be in a courtesan's dressing room. The only problem I made was that because this is, again, kind of an angled um, thing, I didn't quite get enough fabric to like I do one roll. I said, I said. Well, maybe you should have bought. <laughs> but what we can do is we are going to like wrap it half, and then guess what? wrap the remainder. Why are you making me face away from the camera? <laughs> Hold it so I can cut are it. Are these fabric shears? Stop. Is this on camera? Oops. Cutting a seam. So to do this, we're gonna use spray adhesive as well as a little bit of hot glue where needed. Here, let me get that for you. Don't, 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 seriously. It's not sexy unless you got a little fringe. We're almost done with the lamps. Ow! Don't worry about this stain, nothing to see here. So we're covering up this ugly ass inside um, with some simple black cotton fabric. Uh, we wanted cotton because certain synthetic poly blends uh, don't react well to heat, so we just wanted to be safe. We don't wanna lie, um, we're really struggling with simply putting the black fabric inside the lamp. And I just wanted to be honest and authentic and real about that. <laughs> Needless to say, we're <laughs> burned out. By which I mean I've burned Ingrid 12 times. <laughs> okay. She keeps handing me the gun like this. All right, so we're putting on some finishing details. No go-go ghoul is complete without some pasties. All right, friends, we've painted, we've rhinestone, we've glued, we fought, we went to counseling, we healed, I deleted my Twitter rant. And now I think it's time for your final, final reveal. friends. Thank you for joining us for today's episode. I've been Katie. I've been Ingrid. If you like this, like it. If you want to continue to be disturbed by my crafts, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time. <laughs> exactly. Bye. Bye. <laughs>